Hi, today I'd like to look at creating reports from within ClickView. Now while ClickView is predominantly an analysis tool and that's certainly where its strengths lie, it is possible to create reports on a printed page. So your typical analysis screen might look something like this. Um, and we can send that to the printer just by selecting print from the menu here. But if you want some crisp, um, high definition graphics when you print, you need to create a report. And there's some other features you can use when you create reports as well. So we're going to add a new report from the menu here. Use the add button and can give it again the name here. And edit. Now, when you create reports, you um, drop objects from your dashboard, um, your main clip view app, onto the printed page. So, I'm going to change the page around and make it landscape. And pick up um, two of the objects from this screen and drop them onto our page. Now we can pull these about on the page here, just rearrange things a bit. Move this table here, make it wider. Arrange these. Now you'll notice that the caption bars, which are on the main app, contain some of the information about what's on there. Those don't exist on the printed report, so we will need to add text. I'll just do one of these. Our main title as well. Now we can OK that. And when we've added our report, it appears on the menu here. And that also appears in the main, as a menu item through access point. Now, uh, if we pick a PDF print advisor here and send that to print, it just asks us where we want to save our PDF version. And then we can see that it's created that for us here. And this, as I said, is a much higher resolution than if you print it from print menu here. Also you don't get your sort of preamble and other objects, just the ones that you want. Now another powerful feature with the reporting is banding. So if we want to print a page for each product group, we can just pick our it's got five product groups and go back to our report. Pick edit reports, let's go back to here. Uh, if we change this icon we're going to the properties for it, we can add on product group and on the page we can set our banding on the product group now when we create this report from the menu here, you can see it goes through each of the product groups in the current selection. If we then go to PDF again and print, see it's created a document of five pages. And here we go, we've now got a page for baking groups, a page for beverages, a page for deli, and a page for frozen foods and another page of produce. So you can create our reports with which loop over the band. You can also set two levels of banding. You can set one on the report and then one on the page. Um, allowing it's quite complicated reports to be built up with multiple pages. So that's a very brief overview to what you can do with reports. Um, there's a lot more options there that you can dig into um, if you wish. Um, I hope that's given you some insight into what you can do. Many thanks for